Hello, my name is Henrik Voss and I'm the product manager for cameras and electronic accessories. And today I want to tell you about our new wireless compact unit, WCU4. The WCU4 has been designed from scratch new. Um, we have uh, three axes of control, uh, obviously focus, iris and zoom. So we have a new focus knob here, which is an extremely fluid uh, focus knob. Um, it comes with adjustable friction, which you can uh, set up. Um, the marking rings um, are uh, very, very readable. They are available uh, optionally as pre-marked focus rings. And uh, they're backlit, so you can very rarely read them in the darkness uh, without distracting the performers. And here we have the three-inch uh, transflective display. The um, letters on the display will be very, very readable, even though it's maybe the sun, the, sun, the sunlight is shining on it. Um, we also have a um, ambient light sensor here, so um, if there's much ambient light, for example, uh, the display will, uh, the dis backlight from the display will shut off and you will save battery power. The whole unit is uh, sealed and splash proof. Um, especially the iris slider is designed in a way that it's completely sealed. Um, and as you see here, the scale of uh, the iris scale is on the display. And of course, you can set up the unit if you want to, that um, you could put the zoom scale also for the iris slider if you want to use it like that. Um, well, then we have, of course, the zoom knob here, which is a, a pressure sensitive knob. And underneath uh, this handle we have a, a red button, that's a user programmable button. And um, you can put uh, any setting that you like there. For example, you could say, I want the, the zoom zap functionality there, meaning a quick zoom when, once you press it. Or maybe you want to, uh, to have um, focus marks uh, there. So when you, once you press it, then you will have a focus mark on the integrated lens data display uh, on the screen. Um, and since I'm talking about focus mark, we, we had an idea here. Um, I've to, I'm just setting a, a focus mark here. Um, it's a small uh, green line, which you see. And now if I go over it, uh, the hand unit is uh, vibrating. Uh, so you feel the vibration. You don't have to look down on the hand unit, but you will feel when, when your focus mark is reached. Same, of course, applies for the limits, the soft limits. Um, so you can put soft limits there. Uh, they can have a different vibration pattern than the, than the marks, obviously. Uh, so you know that you have reached a limit. But if you need to go further, you can still do that because it's just a soft limit that you can feel. Another feature um, is the SD card slot. We have an SD card slot here. And uh, you can do uh, software updates from the SD card, load them from the SD card to the hand unit. And of course, once you have set up uh, your, your hand unit the way you like it, can save those settings onto SD card. Maybe you, you rent another hand unit somewhere in the world and you can take your SD card, put it into the hand unit and load that your personalized setting and then have your personalized hand unit uh, again. Here on each side you, you see mounting points. Those mounting points are for brackets. We will offer brackets for mini monitors for example or maybe for iPod Touch. As you know we are working on an iOS SDK for Alexa. So it will be possible to, um, to show extended metadata um, on that iPod Touch or maybe playback uh, image from the camera and watch it there. And we will make a bracket for, for the downside here. Uh, that is if you want to put your unit uh, just on the camera, so the camera bracket. If you want to have a cup of coffee or something like that, put it there and the operator can still have access to your unit. As you see here, um, we have Alexa status info, extended Alexa status info, you can see um, frame rate and all those settings, how many minutes are remaining on the, on the memory card and so on. That's pulled from the Alexa Plus, obviously. Um, and with the future software update, it will be possible to control the Alexa Plus or the Alexa Studio uh, or Plus 4 by 3 with that hand unit, meaning you can set up frame rate, exposure index, shutter angle and so on from that hand unit. It's well balanced, it's lighter than the WCU3, it's 50 grams lighter, it weighs around 780 grams, 
So it's, it's quite an ergonomic and, and a lightweight unit. And now the most exciting question maybe for some uh, is uh, when is it available and for how much? It will be available from February 2013 uh, for a price of uh, 5,950 euros. Batteries, by the way, are the standard uh, Sony um, camcorder uh, TV batteries. So on one end we have the WCU4, the wireless compact unit, and on the camera side we have our new uh, lens motor, the controlled lens motor CLM4. The CLM4, uh, we designed it um, to be flexible, um, of course powerful and um, also affordable. Um, flexible because um, you can um, have many different options. Uh, meaning you have a uh, detachable cable, so if you have a problem with the cable, you can very easily um, detach it and, and exchange it. Second, um, we have those gearings, uh, which in the basic set we have four of them, and um, those gearings can be mounted on either side of the motor, so you're very flexible on, on, on setting up your, your motor. Um, we also have that standard bracket, which is also adjustable uh, in height, and it can be adjusted at the side or it can be adjusted underneath uh, the motor. Um, and these dovetails you are seeing here on the motor, they are also compatible to the, to the uh, clamps from the CLM3 motor. We have two clamps for the CLM3, and they can also be used for the CLM4 motor. And here we have two threaded holes just next to the gear shaft, and those threaded holes are there for for additional mounting options. For example, um, we made a, a rosette, it's uh, compatible to the hill brackets. Um, and you can mount it here and you have an additional mounting option uh, for, for, for your motor. Uh, um, same uh, with those um, rod to rod uh, adapters. We have two of them, 15 millimeter, which you can put uh, next to the, to the gear. It's a very flexible uh, motor. Um, and it's a bit faster and a bit stronger than the CLM2 um, and it's the most quiet motor that we have. It's qu more quiet than the CLM2 and obviously more quiet than the CLM3 motor. Um, the four gearings that come with it uh, in the basic bundle um, beside the cable and the bracket of course uh, are um, 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 0 0.5 and 0 0.4 uh, gear modules. The price for this nice little motor is um, 2,100 euros for the basic set and it will be available from November 2012.